So as I mentioned in the last video, the core of Rome Research is the daily notes. And you can find that link in the top left. It'll always take you to today's notes. So no matter where you are, you can jump and get back to that. I'm first going to show you an example of one of my daily notes. We'll go into here. I made a link to this. This is a note of mine from a few weeks ago, uh, just with what's going on that day and how I put things together. Now I have some default things I put in, some daily goals I try to hit. I try to publish a blog post every day, try to work out, try to do some various types of reading. I use Pocket for some short stuff. I use Blinkist for some book reviews, basically book summaries. And then I try to do some actual reading beyond Blinkist and keep track of all that in here. But then what I also do is I kind of list my day out as I see it coming. I use military time for that, so it always shows up in the right order if you sort things later. And also because if you're in a note or in any place in Rome, you can just slash current time and it'll put it in military time. I know a lot of folks use that quite a bit. Uh, if you look at any of Connor's videos, Connor, the guy that put that created Rome, he uses the uh, current time a lot in his daily notes. I, I tend to as well. If I get a call from someone and I want to take some notes, I can say, you know, so-and-so called, so-and-so called, and then here's what happened. I need to do X. They will send Y, you know, whatever's going on. I kind of make notes of what's going on and link things as they come up. And I'll talk more about linking in a bit. Um, just throughout the day, I kind of make some notes when I met with William. You know, again, I linked to his full name. I kind of fuscated a few things in here. Um, but yeah, I kind of made some notes what we're going to talk about and what we did talk about. Just some other things that happened I didn't make extra notes for. I had some extra notes in here. This meetup from Chris. He did a great job leading it and some of the things he had in there. Had a little task in line. We'll talk more about tasks in a bit too. Uh, but that's just kind of how I work my daily notes. So in your case though, again, you can go to daily notes and just type whatever you want. You know, you know, say trying out Rome Research. And you know, you have a three o'clock this afternoon, you know, call with Steve. Um, yeah, Steve Smith, there you go. You know, whatever, whoever it is, you kind of go that way and just start making some notes and making some links. And we'll talk more about links here in the next video. But that's kind of the core of Rome is you just have your daily notes. And from here, you can just scroll and go back to older days. Again, this is my demo database. So I don't have a whole lot in here, but in theory, these are full of other notes. You can go back and find that. And you can always just search in here to find other dates too. And if I type in December, I'm not sure what I'll find. Yeah, do find some other ones like December 4th. Empty, of course, in this example. But in theory, you can find any date and jump to it very quickly and it works well. So lots of ways to use daily notes. And again, if you're not sure where to start, that's where you start. Just kind of put an outline of your day, fill in what happens during your day. Some people are very verbose. They put every little thing that happened and link things together. Others just do big things. I think I'm probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, but daily notes are a powerful way to get started. And I encourage you to start.